Hey, my name is Andrew Marsiglia, and I'm going to be going over my project, the Quick Rounds Race Tray. I'm going to give you guys some updates on what exactly it is, um, some objectives that we have, and where we're at with it. So the Quick Rounds Race Tray is an adjustable tray that is used to fit on top of LS engines. The LS engine is a V8 conventional small block Chevrolet that utilizes fuel rails along either side of the intake to feed fuel into the motor. The goal of this tray is to be used with any type of LS engine and it's adjustable to fit on any of these fuel rails. Here's a picture of an LS engine and the two red runners right here that run parallel alongside of each other are the fuel rails that are used with the intake and this is what the feet of the tray will sit down upon. Uh, some of my qualifications are classes that I've taken here at the university um, involving, involving all of the Tech 4472 classes, the modeling uh, Tech 4460, that is uh, Carl Williams classes for my time and motion studies, Tech 3421, descriptive geometry, also Tech 3440, which is uh, project planning, and also five years of uh, working experience and internships between Onyx Medical, where we manufacture uh, aluminum parts, and also at Williams Sonoma. So some of the objectives of the race tray are to be applicable with any LS engine, also to maximize storage, organization, and time efficiency while using it in race applications or maintenance applications. So what we're looking to do is organize sockets, tools, and spark plugs, um, provide locations for these spark plugs in an organized manner, and also we're gonna carry out a time and motion study to show how effective this tray in fact is. So here's some quick renderings and drawings of the quick round race tray. As you can see here, the feet will set upon these fuel rails and it clears um, your stock style conventional intake manifold and right here you can see where it's adjustable where it should fit on any of these ls based applications over here you can see per cylinder which is your two four six eight there will be four designated holes drilled out to the diameter of a spark plug that these ls engines use and this is really for your organization of them in between rounds when you change them out you can compare them to the next also, you have your studs here that are chamfered for your sockets to rest upon, and also a magnetic tray up top to store tools, bolts, anything, anything of that nature. Any constraints that we might have may come in the actual production process of the tray, uh, as far as using the CNC plasma. Uh, with the 8th inch aluminum, will there be any slag created with the uh, plasma? Um, Will I be able to import my index drawings over to AutoCAD, which the CNC Plasma uses? And also, is the eighth inch aluminum gonna be too thin to use in the brake press? Will it put too much strain on it for what we're trying to do with it and how many bins we're trying to do with it? So these evaluations of the constraints uh, that I've gone over, all of them have been thought into and processed. If there's any issues um, with the AutoCAD drawings, we'll look into using separate DXF files or another method to use the CNC plasma. Also, if there's an issue with the thickness of the aluminum and the slag that's created coming off the CNC plasma, we'll look at either switching to a different material or bumping up the, uh, the thickness of the aluminum to maybe a quarter inch. So the personnel that I have in this project is just, we're outsourcing the welding for it to ensure the structural integrity. Uh, we want it to last and we also want it to look good. The person, the technician, who is going to be welding this will be supplied with drawings and prints that are all to spec and specific instructions to go over what exactly they will be doing, how to do it, and how exactly it needs to be done. Equipment and materials, the entire thing is going to be made out of aluminum from the top to the bottom, the feet, everything. It will all be cut on the CNC plasma using my NX renderings. Also, we'll be using the, uh, the uh, end mill to drill holes for the spark plugs, uh, the bending brake to bend it into shape, and also a TIG welder for aluminum, which, as I said, will be outsourced. So some updates on the project where we're at with it is the, the proposal has been submitted for approval. 
Uh, all 3D models have been set with expressions, so if there is changes in them, they'll be quick and easy to go in and change before we make these cuts on the CNC plasma. All the re uh, raw material has been ordered and should be here by the new year. Um, like I said, we're currently looking at getting the AutoCAD drawings together and making sure those are good to go for the new year. And also, the production and assembly is set for the first week of January coming 2020. Um, here's some more renderings, just kind of give you an exploded view so you can see how everything comes apart. Uh, these aluminum support rods right here, again, the feet will be attached and moved with flange nuts and bolts. Any questions? Yeah. What is the safety in putting the tray into your, into your car? So, the tray is meant to be used when the vehicle is off and the maintenance in between, whether it's casual maintenance or in between rounds of the racetrack. So safety should not be a big factor. It's all aluminum that's been outsourced. So you shouldn't have any issues with rust or anything like that. It's all brushed and finished. Um, and as far as like the strength of it, I don't see this tray seeing a load anything of more of maybe 10 pounds maximum. So I wouldn't see it collapsing in any way, shape or form. At all? Yes, sir. What kind of aluminum are you using? The aluminum is 6061 brushed aluminum. Um, it's been outsourced from Granger, and the metal shop plate aluminum is three foot by three foot. So what we'll be using to cut all the components for on the CNC plasma. The aluminum support rod that we ordered is three foot long, and it's a quarter inch thick. And we'll be using the mill to drill the holes out and weld that in. How much does your project will cost? The project right now with tooling, everything, material, all that's involved is at $242. What does LS stand for? I honestly do not know. Is that it? That's good. good.